What happens when we die? The same thing that happens when we dream. When we dream, we leave our bodies and we go on to other adventures that we call dreams. That's exactly what happens when we die. We close our eyes to this segment of time and we have another adventure and another reality just like this in the same body. Some people may call it reincarnation, but we don't change bodies because we are all imagination. Only thing happens is we close our eyes to this reality for the final time because we are done with this state of being within this reality of completing all the states of being that we can complete in this reality. And we move on. And the journey continues. So, when we move on to these new realities, what is happening, and the reason why we're moving on to these realities, is because, number one, we can't sleep because we are infinite beings. And number two, that is the completion or the, com the completing of the journey that we call life. We will experience everything from being a king, a queen, to being on skid row. And if it goes any further than that, we do that too. Because all of those things are the states of being of man. We have to complete every single one of them. We will experience everything there is to experience as a human being. In death and in life. There is no death. Everything on this planet is temporary. Even death itself has no staying power. It can't hold you. So when you die from this span of time, the next time you open your eyes, you're in another reality just like this to complete the journey. And it goes on that way until you come to Revelations. So from Genesis, from the time Abraham fell into a deep, profound sleep to Genesis, I mean to Revelations, when the truth is revealed within you, you will go through all of the states of being that are in between Abraham and Revelation. And when you get to Revelation, you are at the end of the journey. And that is when you are in the role now of Jesus. And that's when you wake up. And you are now God the Father once you wake up. The Jesus that is within you is your imagination. So it is your imagination, your Jesus, your power. It wakes up. And when it wakes up, you are still the son because you are in the body when you are in the body you are the son of god but when you wake up in the body you wake up as god so you have i and my father are one god the father and god the son and you have no death and that's it